This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. When you're collaborating with others, there are many times you want them to work in the exact same spreadsheet that you are working in. So for instance, if I'm working on this project and there are other people that I know need to work on this project with me, I can share this workbook. Now what happens when you share the workbook is you go into the review ribbon and there's a button here for sharing the workbook. And you turn on the features that you want on, but notice here it says who has this workbook open now. Once you've shared your workbook, people actually open copies of the workbook. They do a save as, and they don't actually open the original. You save the original, and then what happens is after they make their changes, then you go back and you merge the data together, and you take a look at the changes, and you decide if you want to accept or reject those changes. So where do you have to save this? Somewhere with, for the people who you want to share this with, somewhere that they can access it. Enter the sky drives because it makes it a fantastic sharing location. Well, let's go ahead and turn this on. I want to allow changes by more than one user at a time. Now remember, the same user, excuse me, different users can't open the same file. What happens is they open copies of it. And then go to the advanced tab. And on the advanced tab, you just want to keep track however you want. Now the keep change history, that's what people have changed. So sometimes you don't even want to change history. You don't care what people have changed. Mostly though, I do. And then you can decide how many days you want to keep that change history. And again, you would simply make your way through and adjust the settings so they fit your goals. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. Now it says the action will save the workbook. Do I want to continue? Sure, I want to continue. And now my workbook, look in my title, it is a shared workbook. So now, I can share this information with other people. But how do I do that, right? I have to know where this is so that they can share it. So let's go to the backstage. When I click on file, it opens up the backstage and there's a segment here only for sharing. It's 100% for sharing. So what I can do is I can invite people from right here. So I type in an email address, right? A real email address. I'm just doing someone at somewhere.com because I don't want to accidentally send this <laughs> to one of my friends or family members or co-workers. So you put in the email address and then over to the right you decide what they can do. Can they edit it or can they only view it? If it's view only, it's read only. Nope, nope, this person can edit. And then maybe you want to say something about this particular item prior to sending it. And then require user to sign in before accessing the documents, which means they would have to be able to sign in to the drive. You might want to do that, maybe not. Let me scroll to the bottom so you can see all the way down. It says it's only been shared with Sherry Tingle and Sherry Tingle is the owner. And then you click the share button and it's sending emails to the people that I invited. Now, that email address is not valid, so keep that thought in mind. So there's my email address, but it would list for you any and all of the people that you have shared this particular document with. Actually, I should call it a spreadsheet. And then I have this little icon right here. I could send an email message to that person as well. So maybe I'd want to send him an email and say, hey, have you had a, any chance or any opportunity to work on that spreadsheet I sent you? Hopefully, they're going to say yes and get some information back. Now, maybe you just want to give a link to someone and you don't necessarily want to um, send them this email message, this particular email message. Well, you can click on get a sharing link and right here, anyone with a view link can view this document. Anyone with an edit link can edit this document. So I want some edit links. I'll go ahead and create a link, an edit link, and there's my link right there. So now what I can do is highlight, copy, and paste this link in other locations. So now this can become more public. I could put this out on my web page if I wanted to, but then this link would take people to my SkyDrive because this file is saved on my SkyDrive. See, right here, Sherry Tingle SkyDrive in my documents folder, there's the path where it's been saved. It will take them to that location and they'll be able to access the copy of this file then that they can go make changes in. 
isn't that fantastic how Microsoft has made it so much easier to collaborate? <laughs> Remember the days when you'd lose the copy and, oh, did you send me that? Oh, let me make, ah, uh, no more of that. Simply share files, put it out there in the SkyDrive, invite people to work on those files, or create a link and share the link with them. So now, collaboration is so simple. It is literally two or three clicks away and you can use it anytime with any files that you're willing to share with other people. It's time for a pop quiz question. What is one of the best ways to share a workbook online? A, save the workbook on your personal desktop. B, save the workbook on a thumb or external drive. C, save the workbook on a network or sky drive. D, it doesn't matter where the file is saved, but it must be saved. The correct answer, C. You'll save it to a network or a sky drive. That's definitely the best way to share a workbook when you want to share online. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.